there will always be those occasions where the use of force is required at longer distances. When Lightfield compared the potential engagement scenarios with currently available munitions, it was clear that the market did not offer a choice that held the accuracy or level of delivered energy needed to address this task. An extensive ballistic evaluation of available slug designs showed a persistent lack of in-flight stability. The extended range munitions that the industry offered at that point were what they called a fin-stabilized projectile. It's this little rubber rocket bomb looking type of thing. It's heavy in the front, it's got little fins in the back. And this is the best the industry had to offer. Lightfield engineered and tested a new design that proved itself as stable and accurate. The hollow base design with dimpled sidewalls are patented and unique to the industry. Ours is more cylindrical, it's hollow based. These are gonna shoot very straight. They're more accurate than any lead slug you've ever fired at 25 yards. There's no recoil and, and they're extremely effective. Two velocities of the Lightfield rubber slug are available. Both slugs are 130 grains, but are color coded for easy identification in the field. The mid-range rubber slug is black in color and carries a muzzle velocity of 500 feet per second. The mid-range rubber slug is a less lethal impact projectile intended for direct fire at targets between 20 and 40 yards. This is the mid-range slug. Again, the idea is to hit somebody in muscle mass, okay, from the navel or the belt line down, excepting the groin. So you want to hit muscle mass, especially with this load. But the stars may not have sufficient energy for most cases at this distance. What you're going to find is a very low audible report, extremely low recoil, but extremely accurate. Okay, so these are very, very accurate, more accurate than almost any lead slug you'll ever shoot. The extended range rubber slug is blue in color and carries a muzzle velocity of 600 feet per second. This is the exact same slug, exact same weight, exact same material, colored blue for user identification. Should you have them in a, a bandolier or a side saddle, you can instantly identify it as the proper slug. These move at 600 feet per second. This allows you a lot of flexibility that was not available anywhere in the market. What does everybody want to do when you throw a tear gas grenade? They want to pick it up and they want to throw it back. So one guy throws the tear gas grenade and the other guy's there with a 12 gauge shotgun loaded with these. And when the guy goes to pick up the tear gas grenade, he is your primary target. That tear gas grenade will stay there on the ground. The extended range rubber slug is intended for direct fire at targets between 40 and 60 yards. When you're shooting at this range, it's important that you don't use a gun that's sighted in for five or 10 yards and then just throw it up at 50 and try it. So here you would sight a gun in for about 40 yards and I'm gonna aim just about at his rib cage Okay, so this does have that potential and there is no other less lethal, especially on the 12 gauge platform, that will allow you to do that. These will take out motion detector lights. These will take out uh, video cameras outside meth labs. You can take out the, uh, the side windows and vehicles. There you go. So the idea is you can remove that glass. Um, obviously it's, it's Penetration potential is limited, so if I was to shoot at the side of a house and shoot at the um, motion detector lights or the camera, you see it's not going to provide a, a hazard to anybody on the other side of this. Lightfield less lethal. Designed to be different.